Our Raptor we've been using this year is a 2015, and we recently went to the Keystone RV Open House in Elkhart, Indiana to check out the brand new 2016 Raptor toy haulers. And I'm telling you what, these things are totally redesigned, lots of new features, and it has the whole RV industry talking. 2016 open house, this is like the Super Bowl for RVs now and it's developed, you know, we used to have a big show in the, in the middle of winter uh, that we would go down to and we just thought, you know what, this is a better time to unveil all the products that we're going to see for the next couple of years because we can build it at this time of the year, unveil it at this huge open house that we put together with Thor and we get dealer feedback. Every single product line in here has either a new feature or a new look or some new twist to the brand to kind of keep up with the market and we get most of that information from our customers and this year we partnered with ASA Electronics and Jensen to do an RV automation system called the In Command and it's been a huge hit at this show. The really cool features is every Raptor is going to have this keypad. Customers will punch in their own personalized code. It's specific to each floor plan. It gives them the ability to not only control the lights in the unit but also the slide outs, the awnings, the generator. It'll actually show the customer their fresh water tank levels, the grays, the blacks, which is always a plus for them to know that. And the really cool feature which nobody else has is this will actually tell people their own and generator code errors. Right now if you have a problem with your own and generator, customers will appreciate the fact that they go out with their manual, check the blinking light codes and try to figure out what's wrong with it. This system will actually diagnose it for them and tell them what's going on. The second part of that is there's an, actually an app for an Android and an iPhone device, so they'll be able to download this onto their phone and control the unit from their phone. Probably the biggest benefit I think to that is, is if you're out camping by yourself, typically you don't know if you're going to run your slide outs into somebody else's campsite or things like that, so you can stand out on the side of your coach and run your slide outs without having to worry about hitting anything. The model that we're looking at right now is one of our newest models, but we've taken one of our most popular two axle models and redefined it a bit and made it a little bit more usable for the end user. With the 352, we're under 39 feet in the two axle model. Some folks are just more comfortable with the two axle uh, unit versus the three axle. And again, it's all about living space, and what the needs are. Here in the living area, you do have the opposing slides. It gives you a more open feel in the living area and the kitchen. What else we've done is positioned our entertainment center on an angle for better TV viewing. Okay, we've gone to an entire Sony entertainment system. You've got a Sony Blu-ray DVD player. You've got a 12 volt sound bar. All of your controls are on the front of the sound bar itself. So you don't necessarily have to have the remote control to adjust volumes, uh, change sources, uh, and go to different channels. And then also uh, a nice feature is that all four of our speaker zones, uh, you have speaker zones in your bedroom, in the garage area, in the living room, and then outside on the patio side. Uh, so you can turn those speaker zones on and off right here at the Sony Soundbar. Essentially, we have two different bed configurations on our various models. With this model, your Easy King bed lift is on the campsite, and then your wardrobe will slide out on the off-door side. Uh, so you, again, you get a large, spacious uh, wardrobe area, lots of full extension drawer guides, and then just the decor itself. You got a nice headboard back here with a window behind it, and then you've got the mirrors up here to give it a little bit more spaciousness. As I mentioned, we've modified this floor plan from the 332, and now we call it the 352. But one thing we did that was key was redefining this bathroom area here. Still have two entrances into that bathroom, one for guests and then a private entrance from the master bedroom. We also have a, a pocket door to separate the bathroom from the master bedroom. In all of our Raptor models across the board, we've got garage lengths varying from 11 foot all the way up to 14 foot garages. The 332 had a 12 foot garage, and that was a popular length for a long time. But as you know, side-by-sides are getting longer and longer. Uh, so we, we've grown it to 12 foot six uh, to accommodate that longest, uh, I think it's 12 two uh, side-by-side -side that's on the market today. Another feature that we've added is our 32 inch TV here in the garage, so that you've got some entertaining for when you're out on your patio or just back here relaxing. So when you're ready to roll up the carpet and bring the toys in the garage, Keystone is exclusive to a specific feature, and that's our frame welded D-rings. Your D-rings, your tie-downs, are actually integrated into the frame. 
So it is welded to the chassis. So there's never ever an opportunity for that D-ring to pull out of the floor. This is a brand new floor plan for Raptor. This is the Raptor 398. It offers a 14 foot garage with a second bathroom. The garage has always offered the Happy Jack electric bed system. The big advantage is that you can turn this into a bunk room if you need to, it gives you two queen beds. You can also convert the lower bed to uh, a sofa. It's a nice sitting area or dinette area. Um, recently, as uh, toys and equipment become uh, different in the industry, uh, height clearance has become a little bit of an issue with the electric bed system. So Happy Jack designed the bed system now for us to be able to increase the amount of overall clearance to get bigger side-by-sides with big roll cages in here without any problem. You now have the freedom to be able to store it up or store it to the side. It gives you about eight more inches of overall height inside the garage. We've improved the electric gate system. So the ramp patio has been a feature that we've offered for a while. We've just redesigned it. The rails are no longer attached to the ramp door, so it saves weight on the ramp door. It's gonna be easier to open and close. The gates now will just fold in, so nothing folds up or folds down. So in a walking and standing position, you're setting the rail system up nice and easy. And kind of the limitation has always been the bigger the garage, the less living space. And we were able to, by growing this coach as long as we possibly could, giving you a 14 foot garage, a nice living space, as well as a second bathroom. So as we come into the living room of the Raptor 398, you're also gonna notice that there's a big difference in the overall look. We've changed the cabinetry, changed the countertops, we've changed the faucet, make it a little bit more easy to use. It's a cutting board over the sink now. We've gone to a convection oven. We've focused heavily on storage so you'll have overhead storage uh, above the sofa and the slide room. A huge pantry. So as much cabinet space as we can possibly give you, as well as giving you an 18 cubic foot RV gas and electric refrigerator. Gives you the size that everybody's needing with uh, all the freedom of having um, electric or gas powered refrigerator. We've also improved our entertainment center. So we're giving you a bigger TV. We're including the Blu-ray player. We're giving you a fireplace and a 12 volt sound bar that's going to give you a deep rich sound. It's all your radio tuning, your TV sound, and it's Bluetooth compatible so everything is controlled through your handheld device. So we've changed a few things in the bedroom as well so you have access to the bathroom from the hallway. But then as you see, we've included a pocket door into the bedroom so you can get to the bathroom from the bedroom without having to go out into the hallway. This is the bedroom and we've made some changes in here. So again, focusing on storage, storage, storage. You have a big walk-in closet here. You've also got a closet with shelves or washer dryer prep in here. And it's your choice how you want to do it. Separate TV entertainment. So you've got the TV in the bedroom, a dresser with a hardwood top. Every single Raptor is going to have a king bed in it. And new that we've just introduced is an adjustable bed. Sit up when you're watching TV or reading, and when it's time to go to sleep. Make yourself nice and comfortable. You're gonna have a lot of walking around space when the bed is in the up position like this. Also the freedom to watch TV, read a book, whatever you wanna do in a seating position, and have the thing lower down. I mean, again, it's just trying to bring as much luxury as we can into the Raptor, just like what you have at home. So this is the brand new Raptor 422 SP that we just can't introduce right before Hershey showed this year. Some of the cool features of it, obviously we have the largest ramp patio door in the industry. They come with two patio systems, so that way the customer still has the option if they do go to a campsite where they're not able to drop their side, they're still able to enjoy the back, so. We came out with a new patio rail system so it's easier to set up, so the customers are really gonna enjoy it. Came out with new steps, handles are easier to use. 39 inch TV on the patio, so that way if people want to sit out in their Raptor camp chairs, they're able to do that. We're going to go inside now and take a look at the 422 SP. We drastically altered the interior of the Raptor. For the last two years, we've used kind of a distressed uh, hardwood cabinetry. 
Um, this year we decided to go with a darker cherry, um, kind of go with a more residential feel. We went with a lighter bamboo tile floor, darker cabinetry, opaque glass in the doors, lighter colored countertops with LED lights built into them. A lot of our competition in this segment doesn't have any windows on this side of the coach. So if for whatever reason the customer is not able to drop that side ramp patio, it's really dark. So one of the crucial features for us was to be able to have windows on this side so that way if they are somewhere they can't drop the side ramp, they still have light coming in the coach. And to go along with that, we also put the television on an automatic mechanism so it actually goes up and down from behind the fireplace. So if by chance the customer isn't inside watching TV, when they drop this TV, they actually have a light source on this side of the coach. So it's obviously going to make this coach a lot brighter and a lot more homey feeling whenever they are out camping. There will be three interior couch color choices. We have Twilight, which is kind of this grayish, uh, black looking interior. We'll have a new color called Stone, which is basically a traditional, like, neutral couch color. And then we'll also have Merlot, which is kind of a rich burgundy couch interior color. And as far as exterior color goes, we've had great results with our high definition paint this year. Um, rather than standard graphics, we offer that in three colors. We have orange, blue, and also red. Went with a different uh, sink cover this year. It actually can be used as a cutting board as well, so dual purpose. And then went with more of an industrial style faucet. New backsplash this year. It'll actually have LED lights behind it, so this will be lit up if they want it. It's kind of one of the things in our segment in the toy hauler group. We've got a lot of more LED lighting and a lot of the things, and customers obviously seem to like that. This is actually a 12-foot garage, so it gives people the side patio and also a 12-foot garage box. This is what we found in the toy hauler segment to be more of your traditional eating area. Um, a lot of our customers will always ask, well, where can I set my table up in there? Predominantly, when I talk to customers, a lot of people, when, you know, especially having the patio, they'll want to set up their table back in between here and eat, or even out on the patio so that way they can enjoy the great outdoors, which is ultimately the reason why you're buying an RV. This model comes with a half bath as well, so that way we can set this up for basically your kids. They can have their own space back here, so they won't have to go up to the front to use your bathroom or you know wake you up at night. The storage space, we did angle the cabinetry a little more this year to give a little more depth, so that way you have more storage than what we did last year. Um, we did add a 32-inch TV in the garage now because, let's face it, you can't have too big of a TV in today's environment. One of the things when we tried to design this, we were really going for an open feel, an inviting feel. And obviously having the side patio and more natural light come in helps that. But a lot of our competition has a completely reversed layout. Their couch is on this slide and their kitchen's over kind of blocking everything off. So there's really not a natural flow walking from the front to the back of the coach. And I think, I, th I feel like we've accomplished that with this floor plan. It's been really well received so far. So, you know, we'll see how the results bear out. There were some things that we saw kind of emerging in the industry. The side patios have been huge, bigger sofas, different living arrangements have been huge. And so we've evolved that this year. We've got one of the largest side patios in the industry. We set the furniture up totally differently than anyone else around that. The longer garages where people could survive with a 10 or 11 foot garage, we're seeing more 12 foot garages, 14 foot garages, and then the full living coaches in there where you, they want maybe even 18 foot of space. So every year it grows and every year we think, wow, we can't do any more and we find a way to do it.